What's up you guys, it's Courtney Fierce here and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be doing a Monster High unboxing. This is the Ghoul's Night Out Spectra Von Guys for week two of Fierce Ween. So if you guys want to watch it, make sure to stay tuned. But before we get into it, make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below to join this Fierce family. I make new videos every single Fierce Friday and Saturdays and also turn on the post notification button down below to be notified every single time when this Fierce Lady uploads. Let's get right into unboxing this Ghoul's Night Out Monster High Spectra Von Guys doll. Let's get into it. So packaging wise, here is the front. I love, 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 love what she looks like in this. I think that is so stinking cute. Then for the back, there was three dolls in this line. So there was Laguna. I actually don't have her, but I do have Rochelle and Spectra. Maybe a sneak peek. Maybe one of these ones will be being opened for the fourth week of Fierce Ween. Who knows? And then her little blurb at the top says, after a week of killer final exams, these ghouls are ready to blow off some scream. So they put together a plan that will maximize every minute of their weekend. They'll be dressed to thrill in their freakishly fabulous best. Completely ready to paint the town dead as long as they can make it back home in time for curfew. Ooh, cute. I love, 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 like the little drawings of them they look absolutely adorable so i'm gonna get this open and then i will give you my full thoughts and opinions on this doll review and unboxing so inner box looks just like that let's get the night out i'm guessing that's like her bedroom yeah because it has like a little vanity so that's like her little bedroom door and the doll also comes with a regular black monster high brush with a little skillet and then a black monster high stand then we do have her little book here. So let's look into that. It does say Ghoul's Night Out. I love that. It's purple on the back as well. Then on the inside, page one and two, three and four, five and six. And that is the last pages. Now I will go in and like read you everything that it does say just for anybody that is wondering. So page one says, Venus and I looking absolutely fab for Caddy Noir show tonight. Our outfit scream hot couture and rocker chic. Love it. And then the Caddy Noir page says, I almost died again when Caddy came out for the encore. I'm not a reporter tonight, just a fan. That's really cute. I love this. Thanks for the pick, Laguna. An amazing way to document the fright. That's cute. That one has Gulia and Claudine in it. Were they in the four pack with Draculaura and Abby? No, it was just Abby, Draculaura, and Gulia, right? So did Claudine never get a doll? Or was it was it Venus, Abby, and Draculaura in the main pack? I don't remember. Who was in the three pack or four pack? Comment down below. The page five says. Thanks for the autograph, Caddy. I promise it will haunt me forever. She looks so cute right there. I love what she looks like. And then the last page says, a reporter should never be starstruck. But in this case, I'll make an exception. She's just so ghoulishly fabulous. Ghoulishly glamorous. Cute. Love that. Okay. So then the accessories that she comes with. So she does come with this purse with a bunch of chain detailing on it. Does it open? Can you put things in it? You can fit some things in there. And then she does come with this little, oh, it closes. Oh, wait. Then she has this little compact. It's got like a little lock on it, which is really cute. And then inside it's got like the eyeshadow in it. I think each girl came with this, if I'm not mistaken, in their colorings. But it's got three little eyeshadows there. Just perfect for their little night out. So does this go in her bag? I'm guessing it does. And then it gets like stuck. It's like stuck in there forever. Nope. It comes back out. All right, we're good. So yeah, so then her little makeup in there and then the doll, the doll itself. <laughs> Literally what I wish I looked like. There are so many details. Okay, the hair's like a little bit like, we already know Monster High hair, right? It's a little, it's a little in the back, but um, I'm sure you could like zhuzh it up. I'm not going to because every single time that I ever wash Monster High hair, it gets like greasy and the glue seepage is just awful. I'm trying to get closer for you. So there's some purple in here. You can see the pink undertones. And then there is some 
white in there or I guess more of a lavender color. It's very pretty. There's also a lot of hair here. Like there's no... Okay, yeah, no, I feel the glue seepage. Like right now, I'm not even gonna look in there. We're just gonna... We're gonna lay it flat, not get it wet ever, never touch her. Hair's very long though, goes past her bum. Love that. And then for her accessories and face, this is like the first time that anyone's paler than me. Oh my goodness. Look at this little hat with like this little like bow detail on the top. I love, 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 love it. I'm surprised the elastic isn't dry rotted. And then her makeup. Oh, look how pastel everything is. And look how pasty her skin is. It's so white. And then I love her little earrings. They have little chains with little locks on the bottoms of them. This little jacket is really interesting. It's like this PVC material or whatever it's called. More like a, a raincoat, I guess. And it's completely see-through all the way to the back. She's got this little belt detailing on the front. It does actually come off as well. It does have a little lock on it. Her necklace is chains as well. And then her dress has just a bunch of chains on it in purple, gray, and then her dress is black. It is a strapless dress as well. Then she's got these really cute gloves on and they have like a little lock place as well, a little keyhole. I keep saying locks, I mean to say keyholes. And then she's got her little phone. I don't remember what the phone's called, but hers is purple. And then she does have the little clear arms as well on both sides. She has the glove for both hands. They are like a texture glove. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be like a leather glove. Very cute. Love it. And then her legs do have the clear as well. And then her shoes have little chains on them. They're a purple sole. They're a purple sole. They've got little chains on them. They're silver. I kind of wish that the shoe was a different color than the chains so that the chains would like pick up more. Because I feel like from like back here, you can't really tell that there's chains on her. Yeah, can't really tell. I like her overall theme and coloring. It's giving me life. Literally so cute. Does she fit on the... Does she fit on the stand with her coat on? I don't even know what my accent is today, but just go with it. There we go. So there she is. I don't know if she can actually hold her purse. I don't think she can. She can, um... You know what? Just pretend that she's holding it, okay? Maybe what I should do is I'll take off her hand and then put it on her wrist, then she can never let her purse go ever again. She's like, please don't, please don't. There we go. So you can just take off her hand, put on the purse. She's good to go. One thing that I do want to say though, is the articulation. I don't know if it's because her paint, because obviously her body is painted. Some of them are really stiff. Like this arm will barely even move. So um, not going to touch that. Same as this arm. Like it is stiff. Like I can barely even pull it and I don't want to break her. So that's the only thing. I feel like Monster High dolls, obviously, over the years. This doll came out in, I don't remember, I think 2013. I'll put the date down below. 2012 or 2013. But yeah, it's almost 10 years old, so I get why they're a little bit stiff. But it sucks that there's so much glue seepage. And then there's always some sort of stiff joints on these dolls. And also the elastics, obviously, dry rotted over the years as well. But other than that, I will give her a 10. I like everything about her, to be honest. Um, the joints being, you know, a little bit stiff, obviously is not her issue. It probably wasn't stiff when she was first released. But because she's been in the box for so long, yeah. And I couldn't keep her in the box any longer because I'm moving next year. And I don't have enough space for just, like, all the boxes. So she had to be open this Halloween season. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big, huge thumbs up. What is your opinion on the Ghoul's Night Out dolls? I really want to know. Also, comment down below which dolls were in the three or four pack that came with the set. I don't remember. I know there was Venus, Abby, and I feel like Draculaura, or maybe it was Ghoulia. Was it Ghoulia, Abby, and Venus? Let me know down below. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big, huge thumbs up if you want more Monster High content, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye, you guys. And remember to always stay fierce.